So you can see I'm standing in some emerging cereal rye here. Uh, this cereal rye was planted last fall, now it's starting to pop back this spring. And what I did is I actually came into this area, area and did some frost seeding this spring, so this cereal rye is going to act as my nurse crop. So what I'm going to do now is pan to the video of me seeding this spring, and in that video I'll talk about kind of the strategy behind this area as well as what I planted. So stick with me. All right, the strip is seeded. See my seed down there. As you can tell, I do have some rye that'll be popping back in here. It'll act as my nurse crop. I'll plan on terminating that with clethodim once I get the stand to decent maturity. But that'll be my weed suppressor having that last year's rye popping back. Should be a great nurse crop for the alfalfa and chicory and clover that's going to be popping. But here's the strip. And there's the stand. There's the bedding. Down there is even more bedding. So the stage is set. I'm going to have a beautiful green strip here heading out to the destination food. Well, the food plot strip being right over there, that's not where I tend to kill the the deer. Normally the deer are coming out of the bedding down here. And we shoot them right in here with the bow sitting in that stand right up there. So this is a staging spot. That strip of food is attractive enough that it gets the deer coming out of the bedding down here. And we shoot them on the way to food right here. So the does tend to bed back in this ridge right here. And I have shot some does with my bow coming out right here to the food. But everything that I've shot that's come out of there has been a buck. Bucks tend to hang out down in that brushy bottom there. So this food is just attractive enough to get that movement coming this way. That's what we want. But even then the deer, the bucks will stop. They don't want to come out in the open, they stay in the cover, but I can pull them just far enough this way to get a shot with the old bull. And here's the main destination food. Let's see, I got corn on one side, beans on the other. We'll flip that this year. So this side right here is going to be beans. That over there is going to be corn. And I'll have the green carpet laid out for them right in the middle here. That's going to be my green food source. It's been brassicas for a couple years in a row. So mixing up this year, I'm going to get that perennial mix in. We do some light tillage, so that's why I like having that alfalfa in there. It's going to have a nice big tap root, break up any potential hard pan issues we've created. And it's also just exceedingly attractive to deer. This is a really good early season area, so I like having good early season food around here. And then we have the late season food with the what will be the beans and the corn. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, but this is just a, a strategy here to pull the deer into bull range and give them, give them an excuse to be here early. See my old tree koi right there. To freshen that bad boy up. But there's my, that's a good doe killing spot. Got a pond right back behind there. We got that green strip coming right through here. All the way back out to that other staging stand that I noted. This is just a deer highway early season. So we got everything. We got the green food. If it's warm, we got the water, they go on water. Got a little bit of attraction with the tree koi. Everything sets up awesome right here. There's the look from above. You can see the green food's gonna be right through there. Pan over. The beautiful water hole. This is a great overlook. 
And in a few months, I should have a nice green highway like this. All right, y'all take care. God bless.